Good morning, everyone. My name is Joshua Hawkins, and I'm here with Bill Hughes, and we're here to learn a little bit about PML. PML is progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy. It's a progressive disease of the white matter of the brain. So it's not a cancer, it's not like that, uh, but it, it, it is a, uh, it's a damning thing. It just keeps you from doing what ordinarily you don't think about doing. What are some of the specific symptoms of PML? Uh, well, the symptoms of PNL inclu uh, can include. I don't have all these. I didn't have all these, uh, but clumsiness that, that goes without saying. Uh, uncoordinated muscle weakness, uh, a sensory deficit, uh, cognitive dis dysfunction, gait difficulties, language impairment, personality disorder. However, some people thought I had a personality disorder before all this. Uh, and then uh, convulsive seizures, uh, severe headaches, uh, and aphasia. Uh, I didn't have some of those symptoms. Uh, I still suffer from some now, though. So, uh, when did you discover that you had PML and how? That's a hard question. Uh, the, when you're that busy and you're working nonstop, perhaps I don't, people don't take care of themselves the way they should maybe, <laughs> definitely. Uh, you don't pay attention to things. Uh, uh, you don't necessarily notice it, maybe, I would say. Our question. I'd say I'd started um, focus, being aware of things. It became difficult to to process information, to be motivated. I never had a problem being motivated for catering and events, uh, and then it was like, eh, and it was difficult. It was hard to do things. I could sit at the computer and stare at the screen and I didn't know what was going on. I was kind of afraid. The big red flag, I had an automobile accident uh, where I fell asleep. I mean, I had plenty of sleep the night before, uh, and but I just was pouring down rain and next thing I knew I was had a car accident. It was bizarre. Uh, I worked after that uh, for about another six months, and in uh, about December, it was back in 2013, in December uh, it came to a head. I had to leave my job. Uh, as bad as it gets, uh, in the worst days of my diagnosis, uh, in the early days of my diagnosis, uh, it was um, difficult to uh, again, we talk about shower. It was difficult to get step over the tub and get in the tub uh, and take a shower without hitting my feet on the side of it. Some days I just looked at the tub and said, no, I'm going to do it in the sink. Uh, I go to the National Institutes of Health in Washington, D.C. every once in a while. For, and I'm in a study. Uh, and the study is a PML study, and they take an MRI which is a picture, basically. You get a big machine. You have to lay very still and for about three hours. And uh, you have to have a tolerance for odd noises. Luckily, I, I like science fiction, so I just put myself in the zone there, and I'm ready for it. So uh, I get that. And the doctor there, is, the doctors there are great. Uh, very good, and they're learning something from it. So I figured, you know, why? not go to D.C. and I really wanted to understand it better. Right. 